Hello. Hello. Okay, there we are. Alright, hello everyone, uh, trying something new, uh, we're doing a little bit of, uh, oops, probably do that, there we are, we're doing a little bit of streaming today, so as you can tell by the title, here we are streaming what is known as Mechanicus, it's uh, the Heretic 1.4 version, uh, I don't know, really know how to stream, so bear with me. This is going to be a little, uh, little interesting, to uh, put it mildly. But uh, never played Mechanicus before. I think it's a XCOM star game. Never played XCOM before, so to say I'm playing this blind is a bit of an understatement. If I could figure out how to get the chat in the thing great. Is that what it was there? No. If anyone knows how to put the chat in the screen, that'd be lovely. Because then I'm just going to have to keep on alt tabbing now and again. You know what? I think that's fine. I think I'll just alt tab now and again and have a break and talk to chat. I think that's what I'll do. But, uh, yeah. Halo Sass 9. How's it going there, brother? How you doing? You are concurrently the only viewer, I believe, but, uh, hopefully we'll get a few more. Alrighty, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have never really played this before, ever, period, so yeah, we're just going to crack on with the new game and uh, get into it. I hope you guys enjoy the stream, and uh, we'll be streaming for for a bit here and there, but uh, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, let's see here. Uh, casual, normal, hard... Skip tutorial enabled Iron Man, Permadeath, Heretic DLC, Achievement. I got an achievement? What achievement did I get? Okay, I, I have I have clicked a button and gotten an achievement. We, we we did it, boys. Victory. I have no idea what's... Okay, uh, yeah. Just normal. Now like I said I've never played it before. I will not be skipping the tutorial because I've never played it before. And we do have the Heretic DLC, so... I'm just gonna click that and get into it. Ooh, we're loading. The 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. The Imperial of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleets serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. Oh, click. They are the tech priests of Mars, guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology, ever searching for the remnants of knowledge from mankind's glorious past, exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind in the name of their machine god. They manufacture the Imperial war machines with gigantic foundries known as forge worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Mechanicus shed their human weakness, replacing their limbs with organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, 
and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defense against a new dark age. Or perhaps they will be the one to hasten its dawn. An echo in the node spear, Magos. An old transmission lost in the warp, recovered only now. Is it worthy of our attention? The Great Divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. We are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown, but possible key to victory. An opportunity to research. Perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. The transmission's origin is Silver Tenebris, part of the Emesis Solar within Ultima Segmentum. Search the rolls, Redditus. Gather them. Four months later. Insert SpongeBob meme here. Whoever finds this transmission and follow me here, give thanks that you have seen what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear. I hope. I haven't woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I found so much more. Yes, threats to body and soul, but by the Omnissiah, I found such wonders. Again, you give me a this is the last transmission of Magos Resnak. He vanished while an exploratory mission or to investigate Xenos structures on Silver Tenebris. Hypothesis, he found something. Our mission on this world is to ascertain any Xenos presence, and if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. The opening in the Great Divide means we can call on no additional support from the Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit analysis, peace for sector, knowledge for mankind, potential, opportunity. An opportunity to destroy the works of Zino Skevola, not appropriate them. The Mescure and Manuscript verse 619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder, for it will be as a house of sand and knives. Magi, we are approaching the target coordinates. Oh, the soundtrack, yo! The epic soundtrack! This soundtrack is, is one of the best ever made, period. Also, we got caught in a warp storm. Yeah. The Eastern Fringe, Silver Tenebrous. Three point Yo, that's Pi! That's such a cool little Easter egg! 3.1459! That's Pi! Yo, that's epic! Much like this transition, good lord, look at that! Interesting for a Mechanicus ship. It looks very similar to like a strike cruiser. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it is a strike cruiser. I don't I'm not really too well versed on Mechanicus lore. I, I know like the basic gist here and there, but I don't know the super in-depth deep stuff. The uh, Imperium is my real like meat and potatoes. There she is. Temperate climate, atmosphere standard breathable. My Skitari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? As soon as we're in a stable orbit, Magos. Administrator records indicates a single colony, St. Edgar's Hope, on the surface near Zeno's ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed fail. The Sitari will deploy to the surface near the ruins, along with a team of Czech priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them from the command throne aboard. Service skull Reditus will serve as my eyes on the surface. We make landfall at once. Yes, Magos. I'll set up a forward command post. Resek's transmission looked like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to the underground structure so your tech priest can begin the exploration. Alright! Angrolex Sector located? 
Oh, Angrolith. Um, Egyptian Necron nonsense got it. This tomb reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with the breeze and tarnished with the patina of age. Here, their fissures and structures cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalistic and oppressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. It is no less intimidating now, but instead of evoking a merciless, guiding intelligence, it speaks only to the decline of death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs, and something long dead begins a take on the Fasimim of life. Fasimile? Fas... I've never seen that word before. Fasimile. Fasimile. Fasimile? Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb structure. Then the sword of the Omnissiah is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. Let us secure the secret of this world. Oh. Nah, did they just give him like a freaking O face? Oh my lord. Yo, the developers of this game are pog. I counsel caution, Magnus Fastunus. Our purpose should be here to destroy the threat of the alien, not bask in its blasphemy. Aphorism of the Logic Saints 7.91. In the presence of Xenos lies the invisible miasma of corruption. Destruction is not possible from Orge at Videx. The structure is too deeply buried. And Skevola, I have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can find from this place. Ooh, I love I love when people give like some bit of character to the Mechanicus, because obviously, you know, we just seem as like beep boop pop toaster. The exploratory unit of tech priests is inside the tomb and ready to proceed, Magos. There is no telling what we will find. My men will hold the perimeter in case of the unexpected. It would be folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of mortal threat exists that the Fiskari are less vulnerable to understand. I have the greatest respect for my Skitari, but they are still far above from the extension that a tech priest affords. I agree, Subdomina. I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Service of Redata shall be in my eyes and ears on the ground. Omnissiah be praised. We are going in. Huh, Subdomina? I wonder if that... She's obviously a subordinate, so is she also a Dominus? Because I think this chap is also a Dominus Magos, so... Maybe? The Adeptus Mechanicus are a curious breed. They explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. And we're gonna pause that there to look at the chats. UTB. Sure. I will listen to an audiobook to you, narrated to you, TBH. The soundtrack in this game is fire. I listen to it when I work out, for the flesh is weak, but it can't be made stronger. Funny you mention the audiobook. I actually just recorded uh, the conversation between Fulgrim and uh, uh, Rylanor, like the nine minute thing. And yeah, dude, this this soundtrack is amazing. It is, yeah, it's so good. Like it captures like the Mechanicus just absolutely perfectly. With this tutorial, you have to explore, validate, <laughs> validate. I love it, man. Ooh. Okay, now what? Oh, there we go. These Xenos hieroglyphs, I know of them. They are my undoers. Necrons, mysterious, ill research, corruptive. Interesting, so this Silver Skull actually has a bit of personality to him. Normally, Silver Skulls are kind of like, uh, you know, servitors in a sense, where they're just like lobotomized. I guess, like, it's different for the Mechanicus. This could be a rare sample of Necron language, Magos. We barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. This is the work of the alien Magos. 
Codex Fulminatus 83.12 Show caution and scorn in all things. Damn, now that's an Imperium line. Show caution and scorn in all things. People often like to differentiate that the Mechanicus is different from the Imperium, which they are to be fair, but they're still very much cut from the same cloth. Like, damn. Also, I love how the quote unquote Bible verses here are just like 83.12. It's like reading uh, Psalms 119, it's like, yeah, there's like 200, no, like 150-something verses, but no, nah, the mechanicists take full of it, like, could you imagine, like, if you went to, like, a church thing, yeah, and a pastor pulls out, and he's like, let us read from Psalm 3991.28.5, I'm like, my bro, it's like, bro, what is this? That's crazy. Oh, hello. Sometimes step priests will feed back an important information, yada yada yada, these situations, consequences, so choose what- Oh, Ahead is an alien- alien? Obelisk? Why? I mean, I guess it is an alien obelisk, but come on, Brad, you can read better than that. Ahead is an obelisk-like object covered in what can only be described as hieroglyphic symbols. It reaches the tall ceiling of the center. Scrutinize, examine the inscriptions on the obelisk, scrounge, scourge rather, destroy the obelisk, it is a monument to in and secure the surrounding chambers for potential dangers. I'm just gonna go with that because that's like the, you know, uh, safe route, so I'm gonna go with secure, though... I think if I click scrutinize it's gonna cause a fight. Well, no, scour- scourge. Bloody hell, all this alliteration, good lord. So, I'm gonna go with... Oh, ah, I'll go with Scourge, I wanna fight. We're detecting a massive energy spike from inside the tomb. Something's happening there. Something huge. Nocleid source detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediately. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I got Blackstone. The whole water placing demolition obelisk without warning it splits open. Oh! So it gave me Blackstone. So I reckon if I did something else, like say, scrutinize it or whatever, it would have given me... Okay, so each one of them is a... is a part of a resource. So I think that's how it works. Wait, what's this? Initiative advantage? What the hell is that? So the apprentice Jeremiah Mer mm Oh, I thought they said Marius for a second. I was like, yo, my boy! Mananarius, Marinarius. I thought that said Marinarius. That reminds me of a joke. Uh, let me see if the. Uh, no, no more in the chat. But that reminds me of a joke. So. There's this D&D uh, &D character, right? And he's fighting against this massive dragon, yeah? And he goes, and he throws something, and the dragon's like, Acid Splash, please! You think that could ever affect me? And like, the sorcerer just smiles, and he's like, That's not acid. So the dragon goes to take a lick of it, yeah? And when he licks it, he's like, Oregano? Chili Papa? It's like, this isn't acid, it's... Marinara. It's like, how do you know my weakness? As like the dragon falls over because he's allergic to marinara sauce. And he's like, I'm the sorcerer. Ah! Knee slapper. Dad joke. God, I love it. Praise the Omnisire. Food is cringe. And there's nothing in this room. Ooh, combat time! Hell yeah, let's go fight some Egyptian robot space terminators. Necrons. Rest didn't encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhumane. Like, obviously this, uh... Oh, so Kepera is a name... Okay, so Subdominus was her rank. Okay, that's good to know. So, even though she seems to be a little bit more sympathetic and in touch with humanity, it's funny how, like, as inhuman the Mechanicus are, some people would argue that's just their hypocrisy or like their lack of self realization, but they still believe that they're human. 
Counters, resistance to Xenos constructs, are unofficial. Do not charge into heat seed, let's fuck you. Alien, a sense of tech priest, they will not be off. Move with consistency. Ah, let's go caution! Crusade! I just realized it was Crusade! Oh, did they? Yo, that transition is sick! That is such a good transition, oh my lord. So, like I said, this is my first time playing- Oh my god, that is beautiful. Can we just take a minute to appreciate just how bloody gorgeous this thing is? Xenos form detected. Confirmed. Redactus cogitors now function for, for synthetic forms. I need to work on my voices for these guys. Overwhelmingly excitement. Finally, we can study this standard construct Necron war. Big spots detected, none legal. I love so much how this Skivola chap talks in code. I mean, it's really, it's like I'm writing JavaScript for my bloody website. It's brilliant. It's like plus none equal concerning the two, like, bright, like, um, Oh, you have the brackets here for the Necron Warrior, and then you have the two... Ah, what are those things called? I don't know, but it's great. I love it. I wonder about the symbols emblazoned on their torsos. It must... Cap? Do not underestimate. Ghost weaponry. Highly volatile. This is true. I've heard our brothers and sisters of the Mechanicus have lost their lives trying to solve the mysterious of these Xenos weapons. Approach with caution. It is also widely known that they will self-repair, reanimate, or reconstruct themselves if left time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill a Skitari are the equivalent of a C-Class Grey's Sinecon. Class C Grey's? Crikey. Okay, kill all enemies. Nice. Ah, uh, where are- where's- oh, there I am. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, no. Oh. Uh, I think this game has a cover system, I don't know, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Do I have more? I guess I do. Uh, no, I do not. This is uh, okay. I we're fighting. Nice. Okay, two damage. Feel like that should do more because it's a cost thing, but uh, I I don't know. Oh, okay, never back up. Me and my, my big mouth and me. Bloody hell. Uh, left click to move. Uh, confirm the movement. True to climb movement. Right there. Oh no, uh, okay. You just move check, please, to the source of CP. Oh, CP! Are CP like uh, action points? Interesting. Uh, macro stubber. Bang! Oh, oh, oh! Woo! Bloody hell! Okay. I got a crit! Nice! I wonder if that's something built in because it's a tutorial.
Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, so that's what. So it is kind of the same thing. So how do I select the other chap? Oh, that's how I do that. Oh no, I need to end my turn, I think. But I can use the silk. The skull of a faithful servant of the Amasa, augmented to use a companion. Moons on silver skull. Help on combat. And that. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh, with only three out. That seems pretty low for a Necklon warrior. Those guys are pretty tanky. Yo, wait, can I hit him with the axe? Yo, I can hit him with the axe! Okay. I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't hit him with the axe. Oh. Just. Oh! So a cognition point is, is like action in general. Ah, I see. Okay, so I can't move. Okay, it's fine. I'll just I'll hit him with an axe next turn anyway. Oh, so they refresh everything. You'll be able to call in other members of the cohort as. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So that's a battle servitor. Okay, so, okay, it is like D&D rules, it has an uh, opportunity attack. Okay, okay. Yo, homie got clapped. Oh, I love that. This little, this little spurt of blood because he's a servitor. He's like half human and shit. That's great. Oh, so that's why you use servitors instead of like Skitari. Because every time they get hit, they gain CP. Nice. Tech priests and troops. Okay. Yo, am I gonna get like like the uh, the the Amogus robots? What are they called? Damn. I, I, what what the hell are they called? Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Calibrax? Calidus? No. Something with a C. Troops are your servants, and can not in this, not in this Magos. All right, I don't know. This is my first time ever playing games with you guys, but like, my, all of my troops are my family. We, there's no such thing here. I've delaying a unit's turn. Oh, so it's different from ending a turn. So I have to do. S oh, okay, that's interesting. Do you use a CP powered weapon? Some weapons like the Phosphorus Serpent Terror require CP to use. Phosphorus Serpent Terror. Is that the gun? Oh, yeah, it is the gun. But I want to smack him in the face, so we're going to do that. It's like the Omniscient Axe is one of my favorite a weapons in all of 40k. Yep, that makes sense. Can't use them at close range. And this is like a pistol, I imagine. Good night, sweet prince! Damn, that's good. Killing Necrons is simple. Necrons are made of a self repairing metal. We call this reanimation protocol. Okay. So, how does it work like this? When a Necron is in the reanimation protocol, they amplify. 
Ah, it's a time limit thing. Okay, that makes sense. It's a time limit thing. That transition is dope as all hell. Like, whoever, whoever made this... The, whoever did anything regarding, like, Mechanicus, well done. Excellent. You're, you, you are the best at what you do. It's so good. So very, very good. Okay. It carries over. That makes sense. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of stuff left for me to do. Crikey. Anyone in here? No. Small box. Small box. Alright. Check that. Any more on chat? No. Is there anyone watching? Would I encourage new technologies or forbid it? Uh, definitely encourage new technologies, because the, the biggest problem with the Mechanicus is that they, they're very stagnant, obviously. So, on, on my part, definitely encourage new tech. Like, for example, like, the Imperium could easily give the god better gear. I mean, the Solar Auxilia are a perfect example of that, where just before the heresy at the height of the Imperium, like, a quarter of the guard was clad in uh, Void Armor, similar to what, like, the Leagues of Votan have. So, I would definitely, definitely, definitely 100% encourage new tech. Nothing, though, like, Necrony, because you don't mess with Chaos, you don't mess with Necrons, you don't mess with, like, other racist stuff, no. We will make our own shit, because touching that is just problematic, to say the least. Hypothesis formulation, sarcophagi, coffins, burial places, structural purpose designation to Yeah, no shit, tech boy. Oh, it's a tomb tomb. Damn. So, normally I'd say blow it up is pretty fine, but so a lot of times with Necron stuff, if you blow it up, something bad happens, so I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm just going to investigate it. They're waking up. <laughs> well, ain't that my luck. Alright, guess we got fight. Oh! Wait, what? There's a Necron war form within its heavy on the exterior, drawing power from somewhere. I was lied to, they're not waking up, Nani! Mr. Roboman in. My brother in Christ, what is going on here? My brother in the Omnissiah, rather. Okay, move on. It's an ambush, eh? Well, the question is, is this ambush before I enter the combat room? Or is the combat room the ambush? I guess we'll find out.
kill all the enemies. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Whoa, that's a that's a, that's a lot of CP over there. All right, you uh, you gonna go over there, and you gonna go over there. I will put you in reserve. So. Oh, that cost is a thing. Okay, then uh, I'll only do one. Oh, wow, the resource management on this game is going to be crazy. Through pain, I find wisdom. That's a little sus. Oh, it's only melee. Well, that would have been better to know. I may want to turn down the graphics just a wee bit. Like, I don't have a bad computer, but it's not like the greatest, so maybe I'll, I'll turn them down after we finish this objective. Out of range. So, this isn't my range, eh? Reveal stats. Or oh, can I. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Oh, can I shoot the gun? I can! Bang! Okay, that's that. Yeah, I'll just I'll just end the turn. Two dam so they do about two to three damage, but two damage. That's a really good like I feel like the internal balance of the ex excuse me. Oh bugs. Hmm. Well that ain't grand. What are those my center mix exactly, my fellow? Opportunity equal knowledge. Gather. Must attain. Bruh, I ain't gathering no goddamn canoptic scarabs. You crazy. It's Necron stuff. No life forms detected. Area is safe. Continue forward. Yeah, of course there's no life forms, but it sure ain't safe. Goddamn. Redactus, verify your quadratators, then tell me what surface from. Megos Riskas Cogitators. Scarabs of an unknown Xenos ri Wow. Personal recording. Weeks of studying show that there are many variants of Scarab, each with their own roles within the Xenos economy and architecture, able to build and deconstruct anything they encounter. They're able to repair other units with their species with lightning speed. Be warned, they are deadly in large swarms. It appears the machine spirit is with us. You'll be able to access some of more of Rust data than we thought was corrupt. Oh, well that's good. But we have access to his records. It must be to us recording these Xenos forms that the machine spirit has blessed us with access to the cogitator's records. It's unsure why he would lock in a synthetic... Synthetic? Right, I'm not going to tell you what's on my mind, apparently. A synthetic proximity encryption. All right, Skelly Boy's turn. No, it's my turn. They didn't. Their turn was okay. Ah, more servo boys. All right, I will deploy more because I can just yoink more. Well, he's going to be dead, but he's just a servitor, so I don't feel that bad. Oh, they're going to repair him, aren't they? 
Okay, it's only one health, so it's not that bad, but still, that's kind of annoying. If I do that, do I get two opportunities? Because that's going to be sick. Oh no, they get the opportunity on me, god damn it. Uh, troops are not cannon fodder. No, they're not. Servitors are cannon fodder, and when I get some actual Skitari, that's fine. I probably should have known that the red thing was me getting slapped, not me slapping them, but hey, you learn, you learn what you learn. You learn what you learn. Good, good word, bruh. He doesn't have a melee. You know... Ah, okay, whatever. I'm not good at this video game. Let that be known. Okay, I, I, I'm... So, I lost one chap on the other thing with the other thing, but... Uh, I will shoot first, actually. Does this game have line of sight? Apparently. Damn. Alright, I will just go there instead. Alright, let me ask you, let me ask, ah, oh god, I messed up the joke. Let me ask, ask, I did it. <sighs> you know, that, never mind. Alright, let's see if this one taps you. Nope. No, it won't. Okay, that's three there, so... Yeah, I need to get some Skintari, man. No. There we go. I really need to get some Skintari. Dude, I hope I can get some Vanguard. I love Skintari Vanguard. Their helmets? They're so good. Okay, if I put you there... Yes! What? What do you mean damage absorbed? Do they, do they have a, a buff? Nani? Okay, this is getting dumb now. I'm not playing the tabletop. Just die. One damage. Okay. Alright, you can go and get some cognition. Alright, so hopefully you can... Oh. All weapons have sacred machine spirits within them. The more you use a weapon, the more charge it becomes. When the machine spirit is charged, you gain a... Oh! I get a buff the more I use it. Nice! That's a great thing. I love that. When you select the weapon, you'll see the buffs of the machine spirit within the tooltip. Interesting. Plus two damage! Nice! Good night, Skelly Boy! Boom, baby! Oh, can I... Why can't I go there? Oh, it's because they're blocking it! Interesting. So, this game has- damn, that's a lot of damage. So, this game has line of sight, 
Uh, I think it has cover. I wouldn't... I haven't had an opportunity yet. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who could tell? Not me. With the face! I wonder if you can get different kinds of servitors, like maybe, like, bolter servitors and things. Okay, now you do that and kill him for good. And death becomes the foul a- God damn it. I didn't mean- I meant to do that, you have no proof I didn't do up. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's dead though, doesn't matter. My screw up doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Where'd it go? I was like, oh, Maloney. Oh, so if you're near it, it does it automatically. Interesting. All right, gun. Good night. Are those plasma? No, that that he had a macro stubber, and then this chap. Does he have a plasma? Oh, what is this? No, it's a phosphorus gun. Well, good night, little bug boys. Dude, this soundtrack is so metal! Like, I, I was thinking, like, actually, hey, maybe I should get some uh, music for the stream. But I was like, nah, the Mechanicus soundtrack rocks hard enough. Hey, we finished the tutorial! Nice! Good job, lads! All life forms purged! Indeed, by the glory of the Omnissiah. Okay, what? Okay, I need to... Let me go, let me go, let me go. See, mission entering these rooms bringing you closer to the end of the mission. Oh, I'm, I'm, I wasn't closer? I thought I was closer. Negative signs of hostile forces seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirmed. Permission authorized. Acknowledged, Magos. Protocols begin. What is primary focus, sire? Knowledge of Necron forces, numbers, defenses, locations, any form of data on how remain on how many remain on this rock. Secondary, source of purpose of this tomb, why it was built. Interface devices are all but eroded, but this one device may all answers. But Necron, Necron, but Necron data looms are incomprehensible to Imperium Archaeotech. This might take a while. I idea, Magos. If I may take host of this priest, I could be of assistance. Approved. New sphere interference complete. Hard. To decipher purpose, list of suggestions, Magos, deconstruct device, activate switch mechanisms, learn Necron language on the turn later. What will it be, sire? Tech Acquisitor! Never heard that one before. Always so meticulous with your list, Tech Acquisitor. Engage on Xenos mechanisms, although I detest to do so. The promises of the reward are too great to ignore. Having to lower ourselves to Xenos learnings may be the only way to research the archaeotech we seek. Protocol updated. New sphere in confusion. New sphere interference. Disconnected once. Purged reset. Possible scrap. Oh! Oh, scrap code is no joke. That's viruses on crack. That's bad. Sire, we have unfavorable issue to deal with, requesting Dominus input. See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't mess with Necron stuff because you don't know where it's been. You don't know. I don't know. I, if I make my own stuff, that's different, but, but you don't know. Fragmenting. Oh. Explain. 
As Tech acquisited the skull with the left suddenly, my target hate is glitched. Augmentations entered sporadic recreation protocols. And fried vital signatories unclear for Oh, is he dead? Ooh. Necron device is now activated, sire. That's bad. Oh, he, they crashed him. Hmm. Should have had a VPN, my brother. You see, it's times like this that I really wish I was like sponsored by like a VPN. Because then I'd just be like, you know, insert ad here. Yeah, no, he, he got hacked. Remove yourself from the new sphere, Scavola. Redditus, report. Redditus, like Reddit? Nah, I'm looking into that, there's no way. The tomb is waking, sire. Ah, shit. Reports from Sakari co-hosts across the planet note the tremors vex their locations. We've lost contact with the Sakari that were covering the entrance to this tomb. I'm not gonna have to fight. Oh. We can hear the noises of approaching. Ah. Improved protection protocols. Load weapons and ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. I wake with the turning of aeons. Stars yet burn. Life yet blossoms. Is it truly time? See, now, what's interesting about this is that uh, Bricky Orchidate, or just Bricky, Excellent channel, go take a look at him, subscribe, all that nonsense. He made a video about Mechanicus. I think it's like top five Warhammer games. And one thing that he commented on that really hit me as strange was that the tech priests don't speak English, yet the Necrons do. The Necrons, the aliens, speak our human language. Yet the Mechanicus, who are human, do not. The people who made this game really did an excellent job. Thrones of Mars? What was that? That, my dear darling, is the sound of an angry skelly boy. And he's about to wreck some shop. What is this flesh and steel combined? A mockery of both. Their every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this? Into which I have awoken. Oh, Skelly Dad's angry. Principal Xenos war form sighted. Exotic energy signals past sensor range. Designate Xenos Apomatus. High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. The hunt is on. What type of tech priest are you? What are your orders, Magos? The cohort reaches a large changer, cha changer? chamber beneath the first layers of the Xenos ruins, which is stretched from balancing platforms barely holding links up together, while rubble falls from the high walkways like breadcrumbs escaping the abyss below. Fall back, stand ground, or capture? The Presanifist, stand ground, and annihilate the Xenos filth, capture. No, nope, we're running away. This is a tomb world, and I, I don't have- I have servitors and tech priests. I need Skatari and Castellans. That's what they were called. The Amogus robots, Castellans. Yeah, no, we're, we're getting the hell out of Dodge. We're bouncing. We got some toasters we gotta go and cuddle, so, uh, yeah, cheers. Sorry for disturbing, uh, Grandfather Skelly Boy. Uh, bye. I concur, Magos, but I fear this foe will not give us leave to depart. Insects. This galaxy is infested with vermin. Ah, hell. Well, I, I may not make it out of this tutorial, so it was nice while it lasted, boys. Before I jump into this fight, let me check chat real quick. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, nothing on the chat. Uh, I don't think... Is anyone watching? Uh, that would be a no. 
Oh well. Unfortunate. Hopefully someone gives this uh, a try. Anyway. Uh, back to me possibly getting boned. Boned. Get it. Necron joke. Lamau. Oh no, wait, did my game crash? I think my game crashed. Oh no. Yeah, it crashed. Uh, F. F in chat. Oof, rough. Well, I was going to stream for a little bit longer, but, uh, Considering that no, no one's watching, which is always an L, but to the six people who did end up watching, I hope you had an amazing time. Thank you for joining me for the first ever live stream. There will be more, much more coming. Uh, I'll have to sort some stuff out. This is like this. Consider this like a the test stream. Uh, I want to get do this more often, but uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, take care. This, Miss Rangers.